Thanksgiving just six days away. Turkey is usually the centerpiece of the holiday meal, but different cultures put their own spin on Thanksgiving. All right, we're exploring what that looks like and what it tastes like. We're kicking things off today with an Asian inspired Thanksgiving meal with none other than Food Network star and Iron Chef Judy Ju, who is joining us this morning all the way from London. Welcome back, Judy. Judy. Good to see you. Yay! So good to see you guys. Thanks always, for having me. You no, know, I always love the kitchen that you are in. Okay, so Judy, oh, thank you. since you're in London, you'll be celebrating. Will you be celebrating Thanksgiving this year? Yes, I will. Of course, I, I always do all my American traditions here. Oh, definitely, okay. that's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm in America a lot too, yeah. so I kind of hop back and forth. But this year, I am going to be doing Thanksgiving nice. across the pond. Okay, but yes. let's talk about your cultural background. Uh, how how yeah. did you celebrate Thanksgiving? What was that like for you and your family? Was there a fusion of American and Korean foods? Oh, definitely. So we always did the turkey, but we'd have a whole smattering of Korean sides. I mean, Thanksgiving really is about sides anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think they're the star. I mean, everybody loves the mashed potatoes, the sweet potatoes, oh, my all goodness. that. Oh. Which one is you? <laughs> I'm the little one. Oh, that's so <laughs> I'm the little one. cute. Yeah. Precious. So uh, we were used to make the hats, you mm -hmm. know, like kind of like, you know, Indians and yeah, pilgrims yeah, yeah. And, and, and stuff like that. That's like way back then. And, um, you know, sit, sit around the table. We'd have the turkey, but we'd always have kimchi and we'd oh, always have a whole kimchi. bunch of other Korean sides. Yeah. yeah. So things like this noodle dish, this is japcha noodles. And I'm this year serving a fusion dish because who doesn't love a mac and cheese at Thanksgiving, oh, right? Oh, my So we're going to also, yeah, we're going to serve a kimchi mac and cheese also. A kimchi yeah. mac, and you're right, by the way, that the star of the Thanksgiving holiday are the sides. And it's so great because, like, oh, yeah. everybody's um, background provides a different kind of side, right? So a lot of the sides in my house are, like, Italian-inspired, but everyone's different because I've been to an Irish Thanksgiving where some of their sides are a little bit different as well. So um, what exactly is your favorite thing to cook? My favorite thing to cook? Actually, I love Brussels sprouts. Oh, oh me too. Me except too. I don't I like the, you know, they make you gassy. <laughs> Let me tell you. Okay, that's TMI. But, <laughs> but go ahead, it's Judy. worth it. It's worth it, though. <laughs> I think it's totally worth it, you know? But I love Brussels sprouts. I do them differently every year. Yeah. Um, this year, you know, I might put a little kimchi in it, kimchify it, mm. you know? But in the past, I put, you know, just like normal, like balsamic, some pecans. I love throwing nuts in it. Um, but it's so good. You know, a little bit of bacon is always nice in, oh, in the yeah. Brussels. Yeah, that's for sure. A drizzle of maple syrup, oh, something yes. like that. Yeah, I also love butternut squash. Me too. And and sweet potatoes. So um, I've been playing around with that. Some butternut squash soup is a nice. Let starter. me tell you, cutting a butternut yeah. squash is like a workout. <laughs> that thing it is. is. A, it I is. did it the other day. I'm like, oh yeah. my goodness, I need a workout <laughs> from. Uh, well, tell us what. Tell us about the mac yeah. and cheese you're making right now. Yes. So um, this is a little bit more of a luxurious mac and cheese because okay. why not? It's Thanksgiving. So we're starting out with a bit of a, a roux. So we're making a bechamel sauce and that's with flour and butter and adding a bit of milk. And this is going to thicken. This is going to make your mac and cheese really, really silky and, and quite um, unctuous, you know, so it's going to give it that really great cheese sauce. You do that and on a low heat I because I always think I burn a bechamel. Yes, you do okay. do it in a low heat. Uh, and there are others, like, like sometimes I'll toast my flour first, which you're more than welcome to do. Gives it a nice nuttiness. Mm. It depends oh. on the cheese combination that, that you have. So if you toast your flour in a dry pan, then... If that, then it gets nice and brown. Don't burn it. Okay. And then and then you can add your butter and then you can add your milk. And then your cheese mix is very, very important. So I've got a mix of four different cheeses here. Now, I just like to clean out my cheese drawer in my fridge, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, but you want to make sure you have a good mix. So, you know, some cheddar, of course, some Parmesan, some tangy notes with goat cheese and some blue cheese. Oh, yeah. Just throw it in. I even clean up like sour cream, creme fraiche, just throw it all in but you want to have a good mix so you hit earthy notes as well as like high fresh tangy notes and then you're going to mix that in so you have a nice cheese sauce and like melt that down and then the secret ingredient kimchi. is kimchi do you kimchi. guys like kimchi oh, I, I love, love it kimchi. i just bought a brand new oh. jar <laughs> oh did you yes. okay well i have to show you how to make it next oh yeah time. it tastes one so of, much better one of my best friends makes it at home yeah ah okay she so even has a kimchi fridge her. Oh, yes, you do. You sh yeah. should. All Koreans in Korea have a kimchi fruit because it stinks. It yes. stinks up the oh. fridge and it infects all of your other food. Exactly. So it is quite wise to have a kimchi fridge. So I'm going to throw this in. This is some cabbage kimchi. And this kimchi and cheese goes so well together. 
it's actually a thing, you know, <laughs> and thang. so a thing and you will find, you know, kimchi and cheese, grilled cheese, you know, um, grilled cheese sandwiches, yeah. you'll find kimchi on top of burgers. I mean, it is so good. There's something about that spice and that crispiness and that, and that like, I don't know, that, that, that funkiness that goes so well with any kind of cheese. Um, hey, so Judy, we, this, like, beautiful, yes. we're, we're, we're so tight on time right now. So we don't have worry. the full recipe online, but can you just show yep. us that, that, that finished product right there? This is the finished product. Aww. Here you go. So you throw that in the oven? Sprinkle on. Yep, you throw you throw on some panko breadcrumbs, just like this. A little bit of a crunchy topping, so add some texture, just some chives on top. Oh my and goodness. Then there you go. That's wow. after, after it's thrown in the oven. All right. Yeah, yeah. Judy, yeah. it looks delicious. Perfect. I'm going to try Thank it now. Thank you. You should. <laughs> Have Can't a wonderful your Thanksgiving. Yes. That's oh, yeah, good do. idea. Have a wonderful <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> You too. Judy, when you're here, come here next time, okay? When you're back in New York, yes, we want to see I you. would love to. Okay. Yay. I would love to. All right. I'll be there good. in January. All right, we'll soon. talk. We'll talk offline. All right. And we're going <laughs> to yes. have the recipe, like we said, for that kimchi mac and cheese posted on pixlevin.com in case anybody's interested in that Asian twist for their Thanksgiving. All right. Happy I'm Thanksgiving. Interested. Happy Thanksgiving. Love it.